Have so much Welcome. Better. You know oh, those Jesus. videos. <laughs> you know those videos where everyone's singing and you have to pick who's singing. Yes, I get so mad <laughs> about those. <laughs> first Christmas. Yeah, you. Uh, Erica has a what is that a called? A protein bar. A I think. protein bar held up to her lips, pretending to play the Veronica. Granola, bar. You granola, granola, granola bar. bar. Granola bar. Pretending to play her Monica. Wonder, calories. wonder who's playing. Really? That's tiny. It's so good though. Try it. This was only twenty. Could we redo this intro? Yeah. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know. They're going to know. They're going to know. They're going to know. They can't see you. YouTube will they know. They can see us. I'm going to edit it. Okay, here we go. On Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to another episode of... <laughs> if you're not watching this podcast... You're fucking missing out. Uh, we have a YouTube channel. Look up Books and Betches and go watch this. I promise you won't regret it. Just the intro. Just the intro. Just the intro you can close out. This is Books and Betches. Just a tip. <laughs> I don't even know where to pick up. Honestly, when we get to our second ones of the day, that's when you know things are Eric good. Erica hasn't even peed Just yet. Just the tip. That's true. She pumped. She didn't pee. She pumped. Now it's the <laughs> afternoon. Pump. Pump, pump pee. Pump pee. <laughs> Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> Chiquita banana. We're okay. a book podcast. This is a book podcast. Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> I'm Kristen, and with me I have. Come on, me. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> me. Your name. We no, wait. You missed. You missed the, whole, the whole. Not to be confused yeah. with. You guys fucked the whole <laughs> intro up. <laughs> this is a fucking. Okay. 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 This is a train right. wreck. Shh. Cut. This is a train wreck. <laughs> Cut. This well, is, this is <laughs> this is a disaster. Imagine that being the this is the first episode somebody listens to. This is a disaster. I would immediately turn it off. <sighs> yeah, they're gonna watch. They're gonna watch the Trader <laughs> Queen, the book, book two <laughs> in a series. Never listen to the first one. <laughs> they're gonna dive right into <laughs> book two. My non-existent abs hurt. <laughs> Not to mention we're no, drinking Chris- out of baby bottles. <laughs> Y'all are drinking out of baby bottles. I'm telling you, you're going to want to watch this episode. Oh, God. Okay. Let me, the uh, reality is, you just didn't want to do it because you didn't want me to say Whopper Whopper again. Oh, that's what Because we're was. doing the Burger Kingdom today. <laughs> okay, well, let's... Book two, baby. Book two, part two of the BK Lounge. So... Welcome to Books and Betches. This is a book podcast. We swear, we spoil, and we See? talk about sex. Whopper, whopper. Um, so <laughs> we are going to spoil this book. If you haven't listened to our previous episode, so we're doing The Bridge Kingdom number two, which is called The Traitor Queen. The Traitor Queen. By yep. Danielle L. Jensen. If you haven't listened to the first one, we did the first Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a genuine like the upset. amount of times you get titles wrong is so funny. i know but i've been drill i've been dr- i've been drilling this one hard head. this is we did the first yeah. bridge kingdom last time so go listen to that if you now we're in book two <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me up. Bullying her. this is book two everybody <laughs> okay the bridge kingdom. i might as well just <laughs> fucking like put you over at this point <laughs> The Bridge Kingdom. Because I'm bullying you. Traitor Queen. I'm bullying you so but much. The series, but the series in general. I loved this book. Done. No. Stop the podcast. <laughs> We're going to over. Roll tape. For real. I, I, it's a five star read for me. How did you Five feel? stars. Five yes. stars. Wow. For sure, for okay. Sure. I took a full point off of the sharks. So. The sharks. I can't wait to get to the sharks. I can't wait to talk about the sharks. Who's doing 60 seconds? It's all I can think you. about. Fuck you. you did, I did it last time. Yeah. Keep it going. You're doing great. This book Wait, could, no, this then book what's could be summarized in one sentence. Maybe Erica should do it. There was a big fight. Maybe. What? <laughs> it was just a big fight at the end. <laughs> it all just like, there was a rescue and then there was a fight. Okay, if Erica I, could if do If I'm 100% seconds. honest, I blacked out for two seconds. I did too. <laughs> Maria, Erica will do the 60 second. Yeah. Clearly she's got yeah. it under control. Yeah. I, I'm 
not even use all of it. Then you could do it. Did I do it last time? Then you could do Ender Game. Okay. Ender, yeah, because yeah. you don't want to do Ender Game. No, I don't. Okay, here we go. Okay. If you're new to this podcast, we do this thing where we attempt to explain an entire plot summary in 60 seconds I'm or gonna less. I'm going to crush this. 60 <laughs> seconds or less. That's <laughs> the confidence. If you're a vet with our podcast, you know Erica is not going to crush this. Oh, that was I all a fallacy. It. And Erica. As she looks up the book to yeah, check up the names. Looking up the names. <laughs> I actually don't even fucking remember. Yeah, I've Lara. Read Lara. Same from book one. Aaron. Ed. Aaron. Aaron. Don't. Why would you burp <laughs> into the mic? You yell at her about sniffing, and you burp it. What is because this? Because this podcast is already a disaster. It's over. Yeah. This really? episode is over. I hope you guys like it. Oh, here. Clock? This is the parts that make it more fun for me. When we Clock. Just, when nobody. Just... Nobody would think this would be the, the way one? that, it, that it, it went. <laughs> nobody would know. Nobody Imagine would... being the author. Oh, you're doing the watch. Okay. Is it okay? Do you I have it open. It? I have it, it. You do it. All right, here we go, Erica. The entire plot summary of Bridge Kingdom number two, The Traitor Queen, in 60 seconds or less. Here we go in three, two, one, go. Okay, Lara betrayed her husband, and I'm not even getting into book one details. You just Fuck that. You have to. You're in book no, two. I don't. I don't have to do this. I'm fighting. So Start. she. Start. Reset. Yeah. Go. Reset. Ready? Three, two, go. Okay, Lara is now like. Uh, her husband fucking hates her because he thinks that she betrayed her and he's locked up by her I think her dad or whatever and now she's on this rescue mission with all of her sisters who are all assassins and she rescues her husband who fucking hates her and then it's uh, enemies to lovers throughout the entire book and then they try to t- take back the bridge but they can't get back the bridge because it's really hard to fucking take seconds, back you're killing it keep going then, <laughs> keep going you're doing great Go. and then there's a big war they figure out a master plan how to take the bridge and then she falls in the water the sharks want to eat her and that's the fucking end of the book She's they get no back longer together. the traitor queen. Yes. Yeah. And they take back the bridge and they kill her fucking, wow. or she kills her dad. Wow. Look at, moment listen, of silence. You have seven seconds to go, babe. Moment of silence for how well Erica did. R.I.P. <laughs> that was a I, moment. Listen, <laughs> we should apologize. No. Because she said she was going to crush it. And she I, did. There wasn't a lot I won't to apologize. this book. She crushed it. I simply I, will not. But it was because Given I the didn't analytics. have to recap anything in the first book. Yeah, because the world building's done for us. Yeah, Given I'm the analytics, there. I studied the sheets. Um, <laughs> studied the the sheets. odds were in my favor. If I were to make that bet, I would have made that bet. I would have yeah. lost, but you would have lost betting mode, huh? You would have yeah. bet your entire... Fantasy duels a lot. Your entire life savings and you would have lost well i don't think i would have house went. no i don't think i would have went that i think you took that a little far to the house my entire life to... savings y'all yeah, are dramatic it's a lot of money vegas would have no it's not, not that much money. <laughs> no it's really not to say i think i have my like, life savings are zero dollars <laughs> yeah oh life though like over my entire life or what i have right now No, what you have right now is your life savings oh if i if i bet that you would maybe be able to buy a donut <laughs> Your bank account. Here your we entire go. Entire bank account. Well, that's even worse. No oh, boy. <laughs> Negatives. <laughs> Negatives. Join our Patreon. Or- <laughs> <laughs> kidding, okay. Kidding, kidding. The Bridge Kingdom. Great series so far. I love it. Eric, I know you have a lot to say about the sharks, but you have to wait. You have to wait. You can't. You just, have to. You cannot wait. jump I into the sharks. Yet. I know sharks. you do, and it's killing you. And I could see you just want to jump right to it, but you have to wait. And I know you're not going to. I know halfway through, they're just going to somehow end up in that. But just please, for the love of God, just. Relax we talked sharks. about the sharks the last time. We will talk about the sharks. I promise you, Erica. We did. She's like, we did it. Erica. We heard you Erica, look at me. <laughs> we we Erica, the sharks. look at me. I feel look at me. Look at me. I feel like Look they're... at me. Look at me. <laughs> we will talk about the sharks. Okay? This reminds me Maria. of the time when you were like, I don't want to know. She's like, I'm going to tell you anyway. You're like, no. <laughs> I'm telling <laughs> you no. <laughs> okay, Maria. Okay, what do I do? How does this book start, Maria? Oh, the shit. shark. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so at the end of book one, we find out that Oren was taken prisoner by Silas, which is Laura's father. Yep. Um, as uh, to figure, but basically, there's one more city, there's one more um, stronghold in Ithacana that hasn't fallen to the Maradrinians. So, can I be honest? Okay. Love this book. 90% of the time, I had no idea what place was what and what was going on. They only talked about two of them, really. I'm so confused about what place is what who has an alliance who doesn't have an alliance mm-hmm. it gave me game of thrones vibes where i was yeah. like what the fu- who's the north who's the south I feel it, there's you. a lot of places i feel you they're not that many places but they all have unique things that i couldn't keep together in my i mind. get you i get you so listening to this series was easier oh for me. i like yeah. reading it you, no, you bought I, the book 
I'm reading it on Kindle. Yeah, it's oh, on Kindle. Kindle. I, I did the Audible. Audible is so free. I read them I, both. I really liked listening to this book because I felt like the names of places were a lot mm. easier to he- decipher mm-hmm. listening to them versus reading them. Mm-hmm. That probably would have helped me. The words looked like, for somebody who's partially dyslexic, they looked like, yes. oh, blah, 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 blah. What's so funny. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Blah, Last blah, episode blah, blah. of this, we said we like the opposite. That we like to read fantasy instead of listening to well, it. I know. I it. usually, but to me, this is like, I don't even know if this is really fantasy. Yeah, it because is. Because of the sharks. It's fantasy. Because of the sharks. If anything, the, the sharks sh- make it more fantasy. The than sharks than made it yet. less fantasy. Why, why are you talking yet? about the sharks? <laughs> I'm telling you, this it's a it's a cornerstone to my review. Maria, what it happens dropped a whole after? So Laura's like, we got to find. So Laura's the goes, traitor, right? Everybody she's a traitor. Her. No one wants to see her in ten feet of near the corner. They're like, I will kill you on the spot if you come over here. Hell yeah! But she goes to Anna, which is Aaron's twin sister, to tell her, listen, I know Aaron's been taken. I want to help save him. I They're know you like, hate me. screw you. <laughs> get out of here. We're not mm. gonna get you are a traitor. How are we gonna like actually trust you again? She's like, listen. I, I have a plan. Just let me do it. Essentially, what happens is she goes and tries. <clears throat> sorry. She goes to find all of her sisters. This was cool. So she tries to find her sisters. Um, I knew the sisters were going to come back. This yeah, was a cool. good way. Yeah, in a good way. She finds, I think, what, four of them? Yeah. Who's it the, wasn't all who's the pregnant one? She was like, Sarina. Sa- Sarina. Sa- I wrote it down. Sarina. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of and then and then then. Yeah, a lot of ends. And then and then then. Cresta Bronwyn. Um, Bronwyn Seri- is the I, fucking worst so, name ever. So I read it as Serena, just so you know. Serena. Yeah. This is how I, I made them up in my own way. Yeah, Bronwyn no, it reminded me See, of but Bron. that's why I like reading it, because I can come up with my own. Like, Bron from um, Game of Thrones. Well, it felt Game of Thrones-y in some ways. Serena, parts. yeah. Serena, yeah. But the way they said in the, in the audiobook is Serena. Okay, well, anyway, she meets up with them. She's pregnant. Yeah. Uh, so basically, she's started a whole new life. Which Bronwyn's still there. Cresta's there with her. So they're sort of like clustered together. They're pissed at her being like, how could you have left us like that? And Laura's like, I left a note in your <laughs> thing. And she's like, you think I'm going to look in my pocket <laughs> when everything's burning? <laughs> Which is like, good point. <laughs> Which is like, <laughs> great point. Good point. Yeah. She could have done another thing. She could have yep. write on the wall like, you're fine. Yep. Run away. Yep. I don't know. Anyway, so. Put it on her like soup. Sure. Good soup. Write it on her Good hand. Soup. Do <laughs> something. Yeah, write something on be like look in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. So uh they decide that hey, I need you guys to help me get Aaron back and take down Mardrina, like take down her father, get revenge. Um, so the plan is to go infiltrate Silas's castle to get him. Meanwhile, Aaron is going through months of Torture. watching people Ugh. who've come to save him get tortured in front of him that was and intense and that then was they sad. just hang them there yep leaving them the rot yep and while this happens laura's brother mm. um her like full blood like, brother he, comes in he's him. like a philosopher kid that the, the the king doesn't think he's good enough to be the the heir yeah he comes and he's sort of like hinting hey i can you get out of here you mm-hmm. help me i help you, mm-hmm. you gave know. me like you little scratch foot vibes. my back I scratch little finger yeah. Little yeah. Finger. yeah i said yeah, yeah. a lot of little, finger little, finger little vibes. foot i said little, little foot, foot. No, no, I said way little before foot. time <laughs> no he gave me little finger vibes so <laughs> little foot <laughs> so yeah so then they all do this big plan to get him out they they succeed the way they do it is they all pretend to be they get one of the wives from inside oh yeah one of the harem he she um has been there for ages and she wants to protect the children and the wives Mm -hmm. she doesn't care about silas so she helps them get in how they do it is the girls come in as as dancers i forgot about that and as they're dancing uh laura just reveals herself being like sup dad slits everybody's throats everybody gets into a fight uh and they escape with Aaron. The escape scene was dope. The escape s- chapters were dope yeah. because they, they had to go through. They're in the middle of the city, obviously. So they have to go from the castle in a very yep. big stronghold of a city yep. and get out. So there's a lot of twists and turns. There's mm-hmm. horseback riding. Aaron's not good on a horse, which is kind of funny. To <laughs> yeah, me that was funny. He was good on a boat, but he can't that. ride a horse. Yeah. I love that. I love that, too. So there's a lot of action. And through it all, Aaron is just conflicted. He's just like, I hate her, which yep. I think this is a great way of doing an enemies to lovers yes. to enemies. Yep. Uh, and Laura is like obviously super sad and like regretful of what happened, but she understands that he's just going to be like this. And she's like, well, I don't deserve anything. I, I just want to make this right. 
she's trying to prove herself the entire time yeah so when she ends up like they're all together and like trying to take back the bridge i thought there was a lot of really fun scenes like the snake island scene where they're trying Mm. to like sneak back into ithacana Mm -hmm. basically there's an island of snakes that like the only way to get up to the bridge that isn't being blocked by guards is to go through this snake island where all these snakes will kill you. A lot of animals that are just going to kill you. Yeah. And well, a they wanted of, to send a lot of not fantasy. Animals. Oh my God. Here we go with the sharks. Stop. So there's tons of not fantasy animals in fantasy. You fucking idiot. What do you mean? Like other than horses, dogs, everything. True. What do you mean? There's plenty of fucking but like what? dragons. Sometimes, yeah. They, I don't think this is the kind of fantasy you think it is. Yeah. I wanted it to be like a sea dragon. <laughs> it wouldn't have felt right. You wanted the Loch Ness Monster in there? I wanted something more than just a fucking shark <laughs> with freaking lasers attached to their heads. Are we going to talk no. about it? No. We're going to talk about it. Let's get past the snakes first. <laughs> so Aaron, they wanted to send Aaron into the snake island. She said, no, he's too valuable. I'm going to go. This is kind of where she redeems herself a little bit because at the end when she gets to the top after getting bit by a snake, mind you. Luckily, it, there wasn't no venom in that one. No, it didn't go, It didn't pierce her skin right it was like she got lucky what, grace. what fucking snake doesn't pierce skin? it's so well, it was like I, a, it was quick it it was like, like, i think it was she was and got she was wearing a warning a warning bite no he he lunged to strike but she, she was, was fast far. enough so it yeah. kind of just like scratched her instead of like pierced it didn't pierce but i still think the fangs would have had venom in them well no the, i feel like snake bites have to latch onto you for the venom to go through their teeth like i don't yeah think like it's i just think it like, inserts yeah like oh. i think it, it, i don't think it's like a cat like scratch yeah oh, like I situation was incorrect i don't know it's been a long time since i've been bit by a rattlesnake you've uh, been bit by no, a rattlesnake I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no but i did almost walk over one that was scary until i heard the was rattles. that on the trail you were yeah, on california? california that was Ew, really dude, scary no. we saw like four or five never, rattlesnakes. never 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 you see how you want i don't want to go camping well that one was right on the trail we didn't know that i what's care. supposed I to be would, safe mm-hmm. the trail what do you do when you see a rattlesnake you run go the other way walk around it they don't bite they're, they're not gonna bite you unless you unless go up you to go it to like them. they they warn you they rattle and then you stay away it's a warning so she gets to the top of the bridge and now like things are starting to turn where they they don't trust her but they know they need her mm-hmm. and they're working together and then what and on the other side we have laura's brother yep uh pierce I, I, I can't remember his name. I feel like it's Kierce. I think it is. I never <laughs> wrote it down. I should have wrote it down. Yep. Anyway, he is trying to uh, help the Valcottons with the general from there. Yep. So the general from there is working the, against the wishes of her empress. This is all very confusing. The empress was like, listen, we had a deal and y'all broke it when you married the Maradrinian. So screw y'all. We're not helping you. Yep. But Would the general, think? who is the next in line for this empress title, is like, I'm still going to help. I think we need to just fix this problem. Yeah. So hit her and Laura's brother are working together. I think they're book three. Mm, they yeah. have mm-hmm. a thing they have a thing because the entire time that we've been talking about them yeah it's like they they're just there's just hints of those two so right. i think that's book three well, she, he was very concerned about getting her out getting her out yeah to save whatever because she was also in prison with Arin. yeah so that was the whole thing he helps with this she so gets i think free. that to me that was them saying that they're yeah a thing. they're a thing even though but later on the the general she's like no i could he was just means to an end there's no yeah. there's nothing between us but i'm like okay yeah okay sure. forgive me because i read this two weeks ago and a lot of things have escaped me yeah should i have wrote things down maybe did i no so how did they get to when it was just aaron and and her in the desert and it was like that whole scene? so what happened was they were supposed to go a certain way but the guard sort of cut them off right so instead of being able to get to the boat Right. They end up going through the desert. Yeah. So it's Lara and Aaron in the desert by themselves. Um, and they're trying to get to like this next. This was I loved this whole mm. this whole like, I don't know, scene that played out. Sure. I thought it was fun. There's a storm coming. Yes. Yeah, a big sandstorm coming. Mm-hmm. And Lara, we find out, grew up in this desert. There is yeah. they get to a compound where she was raised and they snuck on to Maradrina or whatever it's called. Right. Didn't they like aren't they on her it's her territory. Yeah, they yeah. Like, they like still, the desert's there, yeah. still part of this. This is yeah. still part of Maradrina. Right, right, right. Maradrina. But they're trying to get to Ithacana. Um, Ithacana. Ithacana. But right. while they were trying to go by sea, yeah, they couldn't because it was just a big kerfuffle. Mm-hmm. Ithacana just reminds me of like Americana. Mm. Okay. The like the, the music, music <laughs> the album, <laughs> album, Green Day. Yeah. 
Sure. Yeah. Her Green Day? No, that's American Idiot. Americana was... I know Halsey had a song. Was it Offspring? I have no idea. You are bringing something that I don't have. (laughs) I think there was a big moment in this whole like sandstorm thing was when they were in where she like you know grew Grew up. up. Yeah. Um. There was this like brief moment. Did they kiss? But there was there was some sort of tension where he was kind of. You could tell he still loved her. Yeah. No, he definitely still loved her. He he, he kept top, telling himself he didn't. He, he couldn't anymore. He was just angry at her. Yeah. But seeing how she went out of her way to defend him and help him through these sandstorms, because only she could handle it. He doesn't know how to ride a horse well. Mm-hmm. He couldn't really handle the, the sand. And so... It was the offspring. Oh, thank you. Nice. Thank God we know that now. <laughs> I think I'm confused as to when that happened, when they were just by themselves, to then when they were because with so everybody. Because ba- they split off from the group. So instead of It the, was when they were escaping. Yeah. Okay, so we went escaping. backwards. So the, the, the snake stuff happened after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we right. skipped the whole thing. That was my bad. Um, so after the snake stuff then, let's just get to when they get to Ithacana. Okay. Um, they are basically trying to take back the bridge, and there's a couple wars that are breaking out, but things go too easy for them right isn't that kind yeah, of yes so yeah. a lot of so obviously as we remember there's a bunch of different islands in a way for these towns so they go in it's battles everywhere and they take back a lot of ithacana i'm yep. oh, sorry yeah ithacana and they realize hmm interesting they really just uh gave up pretty easily doesn't make sense that they gave up so easily right something's up and then comes the um help or the warning cries from i think it's arendelle is what it's called yeah so when they're in ithacana and all these like alarms are ringing whatever i don't remember oh there's like a pretty big battle that breaks out and they're kind of like uh what like i don't know outnumbered in a sense no in a way so there's a lot of battles going on yeah and they're still doing and when the course of this battle laura gets injured someone like slices through her with a with a knife or with a sword yep and at the end of this, um, her and Aaron have an intimate moment at this house. It was a grandma's house. This is what I thought was interesting. They basically have sex. Well, um, he, he sews her up. Sews her up. She is like literally dying, lost a ton of bu- blood. But hey, they're going to they do it anyway. That's what I wanted to talk about. Like literally she was dying. They always do. But I'm like, damn, good for her. She mustered the strength to have sex. They I think if I was bleeding out, do like sometimes I'm like tired after a day of like, like, yeah imagine a day of fighting <laughs> right yeah yeah i feel you I feel i'm like you. hanging on the couch all day at night i'm like mm, kind of tired i don't know if i want to do this right now but her fucking dying but i think you know what i think it is and i've thought about this a lot because it happens a lot in fantasy right where Does they it? like I yeah they sure. like fu- fuck fuck mm-hmm. before a battle or mm-hmm. like after like something crazy and i think it has to be something to do with like the heightened emotions yeah of just the situation too, yeah. like you're and I just think like in this you're so fucking too. hot right now you just fucking bled almost bled out for my country that's so sexy let's fuck at the same yeah. time too they're both realizing that this is the end of the road Mm-hmm. Once they help get back at the Kana, Lana's like Lara is like okay. I'm. I guess I have to leave you now. She yeah. doesn't want to. They can't be she together. Does. She's so the traitor can't. queen. Exactly. No one's gonna accept her. Exactly. So, um, they have that one final night. I think that's why yeah. they do it. Yeah. And then when she wakes up, he's gone. He's gone. He leaves in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. Uh, to do that one last battle. At mid- this is where they feel like it's too easy. Yep. And then the battle cries come from the Arendelle place. Be like, oh, it's no, on fire. it's on fire. It's not good. That's where the battle is. They and that's us. where Laura also Which, sees like, it very from cool. her. I think the battle yeah. scenes were very good. So awesome. good. Amazing. Laura sees it from her very well done. Well. And I love how, like, piratey it was. Yes. I yeah. think that's why I loved this book. It, it was, was very pirate It gave so pirate nice. vibes without giving pirate vibes. Yeah. I love pirates. I love battles. I love epic, like, I think we need to write it. read another pirate book. I agree. With wholeheartedly. As long as it's not some fucking lame mass pirate fantasy weird shit don't sign me up for that okay this was perfect one sex scene it was great and i felt it it was nice it wasn't all about kinky shit yeah okay i'm just yeah. saying you're gonna you go let's read a pirate book and it's and like it's gonna Captain be like john well, and i again he's i see we with his fucking <laughs> peg leg <laughs> Big leg with a mermaid comes on shore with yeah no I'm i will set. say i'm not a fan of pirates but sure we'll do it it was fun it was a good, good i know a book that i really want you guys to read and it's um not a fantasy it's like real life but it has like a 
fanatical like situation. Okay. But the, the guy, guy on the front. The guy is a treasure hunter. I think oh, that's fun. About this yeah. one. That's fun. I'll, I'll, I'll watch. I'll yeah, we'll talk about that. It. Okay, so we're getting closer to the sharks. Yeah. So this final battle. So is close. To, so, <laughs> so close Laura, to the sharks. So Laura says, "Okay, I have to. I have to help, even though she's literally like she's bled out. She woke up she's, alone. She's not good, but yep. she makes it to. Um, How did she even get there? She gets on a boat, I think. Yeah. And she like ends up swimming too. That's and right. It's biggest, her biggest fear. Mm-hmm. Which like, bitch didn't know how to swim, and now she's an she Olympic swimmer. She's been progressing. Uh, she had to. She, she learned she how to hard run. it is to like swim in the ocean like that. Yeah, that's why she was terrified. Why I don't swim at all. And she didn't. She wasn't good I at can't it. Swim. So she I'm wasn't like an you expert. Can't swim. I cannot swim. I can doggy paddle. I'll that's, teach you. But that's swimming. Everyone says they're gonna teach me, and no one's taught me. That's it's been years of this. That's swimming. Okay, but I can't like jump in the deep end, come back up. I get too anxious. What? I get too anxious. So what happens That's when you jump in the deep end? end? Do you just stay down? I don't jump in the deep end. No. <laughs> I have doggy paddle to the deep end from the shallow end. Oh my goodness. This is going to be interesting. Oh, I, I oh. have a pool at my apartment. Like, we could do it, but okay. no one teaches me. I'll teach you. So you so you could swim to the deep end. Yeah. I just can't. No. You can't like, like a if doggy you threw me off the... right now. <laughs> she <laughs> might not come back. If you fell off home. a boat, you're I'm done. I'm dead. I'm d- okay. I mean, I we will, need to teach okay. you how to swim yeah. because I'm too scared. I get, I get anxious. Whoa, I wait. get so anxious. I, understand I feel that. like my, I, I, I can sympathize with Laura when she was talking about mm. how scared she gets underwater. And you guys know I'm scared of dark water. Yeah. So the ocean, yeah, is the darkest water out there. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary. She's real. Scared you know what I get scared of? I love the ocean. But I'm when I of it. surf, like when I body surf in the ocean, and you know how sometimes you just catch it wrong, yeah, and you just get fucking yep. bodied under yep. the wave, and you're like, <laughs> you know what? Like, I like, feel that constantly. You don't know where you, you know. What's are. even worse is when you go down on the wave, and yeah. the bodyboard gets stuck underneath, and it impales your stomach. Like, That's happened to me like three or four times where I thought I broke my ribs. Where like you can't get to the surface. Yeah, like, I don't know how surfers do that. Me neither. Because I'm doing this on little bitch waves those giant fucking huge huge waves like the monster it. waves i don't, I don't know do i don't get it i also don't like being in water that i can't touch my feet agreed. yeah agreed yeah same agreed. and if the water that i or the ground that i am touching my feet down on is gross and glimy weedy <laughs> <laughs> i hate lakes i hate lakes i, I hate know. lakes i don't i hate lakes you have to jump in our river. It's fun. Ew. Uh, I love rivers. Interesting. Flowing water. Yeah. It looks so gross. Flowing and dark. water is a lot nicer. No, there's than eels it. in there. There are eels. I don't like that. No. I don't like no, that. No, 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 no. So she shows up to this battle. Um, She's ready to go to help out. It is a rough battle. Yeah. Rough battle. It's rough, rough, rough. How did they? Rowdy. Oh, so there's a storm coming. So a lot, of, a lot of the people from Marginia start retreating because this storm's coming. They know they can't survive it, but there's one boat that's still trying to get through this uh, I, i'm assuming it's an underground tunnel with like gates yeah. again i'm very i have a hard time imagining it's not like an things. underground tunnel but it's, it's like, like it's like i think she grate. described like it archway. very well yeah. i had a hard time visualizing it, it. I, I don't sure. think it was to me it looked like it was like you know sewer grates that are underwater yeah yeah, yeah with yeah. like a bunch of like but bo- it was bar- over the water half and yeah. half yeah, yeah exactly yeah. half and half so it's her father on that boat mm-hmm. trying to get in and she see laura sees it from above she goes that's it He's fucking done. Yeah. So this she goes. Cool. She kills him. Jumps. Okay. With rope. <laughs> well, she jumps into the water. With jumps like into rope. the water. Gets onto the boat. Basically goes. All right. I'm. I'm challenging you to a duel. Anna ties the rope around her and says, "We're gonna hold on to you, but this is all that we have." And yeah. she jumps off the cliff. Yeah. She made it so far, and then she was like, "I have to just." get there and like yeah. swims yeah and yeah she shows up she's like i want to duel you mother right fucker. now papa let's go yeah. and he's like please please come on now let's, you're let's weak not even. and you look let's not look at you you yeah. can't even lift it come on now so then she's like well if you're not gonna do it then i mean are you a little bitch or what she literally <laughs> basically <said laughs> basically that. so then she knows that if he if he doesn't say yes his his followers would be like if he can't even like bring her down what are we doing here? yeah so they do. They have this whole, whole like sword fight, and she ends up killing him, which was awesome. Like I think she stabs him. Yeah, so good. It was I, I was listening to. It, I was like, yes, finally. I, I was so excited. So at that point, once that's over, the people on the boat, they're like, we're done. Yep, we're good. We got to go back. This storm is getting bad, and but she, she needs, to get, needs to get up there. But yeah. she gets stuck at this little like the waves are going it's crazy. Called a portis, right? I guess. I don't know. That's what the, she was calling it. Yeah. Which I, lo- I Googled it. And when I looked up Portis, it is exactly that. It's a gate that is like kind of think of like Game of Thrones almost like the the when they go through the wall and they have that like archway through the wall on the north. 
and it like lifts up the gate yes it's the same thing but yes. in the water got it so okay. she gets she swims she manages to like swim her over there but there are a lot of sharks in the water and r is uh, this is your cue sharks. that was your cue there's a lot of oh, sharks in it. the water and she's swimming to this gate. I'm listening. There are a ton of sharks taking out all of the enemies around her. Just <laughs> and this, wh- a couple sharks come and like bump her. Yeah. Here. Okay. Now, no, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. So then, right? We find out. So I, like, <laughs> we're not ready for your argument yet. <laughs> we have to explain. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. these sharks are doing and how it affects the end of the book. It does it's for you to get mad about it. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So. At the end, Arn brings her up. She's like, okay, I guess I should leave you. Arn says, no, you, you're staying with me now because you've been accepted by the sharks. The legend says that if a shark does not eat you in the Ithacanian waters, that means you are not a traitor and you were not eaten. So you're not a traitor. Which is like, honestly, I didn't mind that because if I you think of- that. That's not the part that I dislike. Oh. Oh. I thought that's what you hated. I mean, it. I think it's the silliest thing I've heard. Well, but it's like a lore, like uh, sure, like yeah. no, my problem is with the cultures. Sharks. Okay, tell me your my problem. Pro- I We're didn't here. say the problem was with the lore. I said my problem was with the sharks. Okay, what happened? Sharks. sharks? What the fuck do you have against sharks? Or the gonna tell you some of the dumbest fucking animals in, or they're not even animals. They're mammals. But like, I don't think that's true. They are so fucking stupid. I don't they're, think that's true. If oh, I'm thinking, these sharks are great whites. Uh, am, yeah, am yeah. I, am that's I wrong what I thought too. One thousand percent. Right. Those are not fucking smart animals. They're sure? not at all. No, sure? they're not. They're I don't want to give out misinformation. That's why they bite humans because they th- miss see them no, as the things. smell. R- and they accidentally bite Great like they white eat the dumbest stuff. Smart. Well, they they're just trying to live. They literally eat hubcaps. <laughs> Uh, many scientists now believe that the great white sharks are intelligent, highly huh. inquisitive creatures. When great sharks, white, when great whites gather, they seem to show different behaviors from open mouth gaping to one another assertive body slams. They don't know anything about sharks. They don't know anything about great white oh, sharks. Oh, but you do. They don't. Have you studied they've sharks? Ne- they've literally never seen a great white shark give birth. They've never seen it before. They don't is know that how true? that. Look that up. That is a hundred. I feel like we're just saying facts. things. I think we're saying things. We got to back I them up. I swear to God, they I have think never. She's on TikTok too long. Yeah, because I say they, a lot no, of things. No, this was pre TikTok. I knew this. I say fact. a lot of things on this podcast. I listen back to. Them. I'm like, that's not true at all. <laughs> Why did I pull say up that? a video of a fucking shark give a great white giving birth? They don't have it. Okay. They don't have any. So maybe it's just it. not on video. Have we ever seen a great white shark give birth? As a result, scientists aren't even sure how many great white how many white sharks exist. But it's agreed they're a vulnerable species with their numbers decreasing remarkably they've never been documented mating or giving birth however it's thought they go deep waters they go to deep waters the pacific oceans to mate i mean how else are they coming up what do you think's happening that there's like a megalodon deep down in the ocean <laughs> that's like fucking pumping them pumping out pumping them out oh boy get i don't know TikTok. we have no fucking idea it you're is right interesting okay. that you're right not, we don't know it's not documented you're anywhere. right we don't it's know very, Here, here's the thing i'll give you that. sharks aren't the smartest animals okay fine Killer it's whales. If this was killer orcas, whales, orcas, orcas are psycho, man. No, they're literally like they Super literally smart. know what they're doing. They're smarter yeah. than humans. So yeah. if this was a killer whale situation, you would have been fine with it. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. No problem. I think that would have made so much more sense. Orcas, That's really interesting. But sharks been even are like deadly. They don't work in packs like this. They do either. Yeah, they Not do. Not really. Great whites. Not great whites. Yes, they do. They're little they just sharks. Said it. We they just, just read said it. They have like a group thing. But they they t- they open their mouths. That's not working as a team. Okay, I I will agree with that. They have a social behavior, but not like they a don't teamwork. even they don't even have like their kids around them. Like once you're a shark, you're just out in the open sharking, doing whatever. But sharks here's do. the thing: you're talking about like real life sharks. So which is it? Are we in a fantasy Whoa. world? Or yes. are, we, are we going by real sharks? You're thinking too much of like shark behavior. It's a real animal so like, in a why? fantasy setting. So riddle, huh? riddle, riddle me this. Riddle her this. Why are we using a real fucking shark? I have shark? a question. How come dogs can talk in certain movies? I don't fucking know. That's fine with you, but it's a real dog in a fantasy setting dogs that can are talk. Like, if the sharks were talking, would that have fucked you up even more? I'm just a little No, confused. I wanted the sharks to have lasers on their heads. I yes. wanted there to be a me something too. about their... Maybe the sharks had two heads. I don't know. Give me something fantasy like i would have loved to know that they were actually the tamed. fantasy part of it was that they didn't eat her 
and that no that's not crazy that's not crazy to me i thought it was pretty nuts the shark i'm, t- <laughs> I'm saying fucking eater. that's fucking one nuts. sharks don't live in packs like this right that's not like how they in this they world these sharks do. do but like give me something make these sharks you sound do like me else. you sound like me when i talk shit about vampires and you're like well in this world that's what vampires do well make, in this world I that's want, what sharks want, do here's the thing i wanted this shark to have two heads i wanted to have a fucking dorsal fin that was a fucking knife i wanted the shark to <laughs> she wanted do more. something else okay. other than being a regular fucking basic ass ass shark okay that eats hubcaps like give me something <laughs> else things. out of this shark that so, other than they're finally smart i don't know they they basically took the personality of a killer whale so and what made i it think into a shark so what i think happened was the sharks just were so dumb that they didn't even notice her or miss her that could have been it too because well, that's are what fucking i not but that's what i gather that they just didn't get her but since the lore and the um, myth is like oh well if they don't touch you when in reality it just happened to be like an accident like a happy accident but she was bleeding she was actually so bleeding. everybody around her was bleeding so there's but this blood is what everywhere. i mean like if it was a killer if it was a killer where i'd be like yo they they knew they decided <laughs> they, they knew well maybe they, they probably had out. a stat sheet on her and was keeping score you know what's amazing ocean. you know what's amazing we don't know shit about sharks like you said we don't know enough about sharks maybe there are sharks out there in the ocean right now that are smarter than you think that you have never come across i'm gonna use I've your logic i'm gonna use your logic against you maybe there's amazing when she holds the mic you know it's real <laughs> maybe, the there's, maybe there's bigfoot sharks out there not bigfoot you don't believe cannibalistic it. sharks or like give me a whale give me a huge whale that like is the size of like three ships and decides whether or not you live or die you like, while, I agree, something while i agree else. moby dick yes <laughs> so give me anything i can agree there was better ways to do this I still didn't hate the shark. It did. It wasn't enough for me to be like, now I hate this book, or like now I think this is silly. It just wasn't enough for me. Yeah, I love. I really like this book. Oh, okay. I thought that that ruined everything for you. No, I no. It, it, it bumped me. It bumped me from oh. a five to like a four point two or something. That's a pretty big like thing. drop. Yeah, I don't think so. I gave it a four, I believe. Okay, well, I gave it. A five. I just think that the the shark situation. I I to me, it wasn't just the sharks, right? Like it was. Some of the other aspects, I felt like we were in a fantasy, but not in a fantasy, and I didn't like that. I didn't get I wanted that. more fantasy stuff happening. Yeah. I felt it was pretty fantasy. Because we didn't it felt ha- Game like, of Thrones to me. Like, straight yeah, up. Yeah, but the Game of Thrones had a fucking dragon. Like, yeah, yeah. give me something else. I, I feel like a dragon or, like, those things would have felt really out of... Like, you're the right. snakes. It needed to Make be the a... snakes, like, something... Two-headed snakes or, like... You well, know what I mean? the fact like, that there was a bajillion of them and they were, like, that all... Too. I'm just saying, like... a lot of snakes. You know what I mean? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, give no, me... I, myth- I hear you. I wanted mythical creatures. It That's been, what I wanted. The place to do it would have been in the ocean. And I've read books... Like, a dragon shark or something so, would have okay. been sick. So, I've read books, uh, specifically the Immortals After Dark series... She goes down to like hell or whatever, and like hell is like this whole cool like landscape, and they're in a mercury sea, which is like they just make it so like cool, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And there's mm-hmm. all these like different animals, and they're like variations of what we know, mm-hmm. but they're just like cool. Like I just felt like there was like there was a disparage disparity well, in, that- in imagination. See, no, I thought it was very Game of Thrones s just without the fucking dragons. Like yeah. to me, if yeah. you took the dragons out of Game of Thrones, you would say the same thing about Game of Thrones. Well, no, because they had the wall and the fucking other the, the white, walk- well, that's white true. walkers. If we took like the white walkers and the dragons out, so like half the plot. Well, I'm just saying the myth- <laughs> mythical beings is what like, makes literally it. Half the plot. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say before we like say exactly what the end was, when she was killing her dad, there was a line in this that I thought was so dope, and it mm. reminded me of Game of Thrones, where she said, "Where where he said you are a traitor," he hissed to your family and to your people. She, no father, she whispered. That's what they'll say about you, and then sliced. And I was like. Fuck yeah! <laughs> like that, that made was cool. me. That was dope. As she fuck. did have a lot of good lines. Yes. Yeah, so how did it? I thought I thought the book was great. I okay, really yeah. did. So we were at the um, Portis, and she's getting trying to go underneath it because she could fit. Ar- yeah, Arn is trying to help her, but again, remember she's terrified of of this Water. thing. So um, there's a small opening at the bottom, but Arn's trying to get her through to his. He's side. on the other side. Yeah. The other side, trying to get her through his side, but she has like a a, um, a knife belt and that's stopping her from getting all the way through. So she's at this drowning. Point, she's <laughs> drowning. Straight up drowns. She actually does drown, yeah. Uh, but Arn's able to cut in and save her or whatever. But she, I think she's like down for like three days. Yeah, which was weird. Like he didn't do CPR right away or like put they her on her side. I mean, she <laughs> still. I, I my assumption was that they did it. Yeah. And then she just like you're right, you're right. coughed and just stayed in a coma for three days. Yeah. Like, oh, you know. 
wakes up she's like okay i guess i'll leave you now and he's just like no you're not going nowhere the shark said yes to you and you get to stay mm-hmm. is that how it ended yeah i th- yeah okay. and then basically it's like um, i liked how there, there wasn't was, this was there big like a... fluffy ending of like no i agree yeah, no, the way like, it, the i liked way it, it just like off, ending but wasn't there a hint off? of like there's still more so essentially is like the battles are not over like right. it's it, the vodka is still a thing i think I think. Mm-hmm. Um, so whatever comes, we're together to fight it. It's Got essentially it. yeah. the last line of the book. Yeah. It's a happy for now. So it upsets me now that I they're liked. going to a completely different point of view. For the so next book. shall I read <laughs> Which the synopsis sense. for book three? Hey, but it makes me sad. Because yeah. I'm so connected to these characters now. Shall I read yeah. book three? Let's read book three synopsis right now. It's called The Inadequate Are we going to read book three? We'll find I'm, out if you like this. I'm probably going to. I don't know. It's if cares and... Return so, to the um, world of the Bridge Kingdom in this sensuous fantasy full of romance and intrigue that is perfect for fans from Brother Nash. <laughs> okay. A soldier raises an heir to an empire, Zara. That's the Valkan's, um general. Is motivated by two truths. This is that the va- valiant that's what the place is valiant yeah, not Valkata, yeah. valiant family murdered her mother and the second is that her pursuit of vengeance will put every last one of them in their graves the endless war between maradrina and Valkata has raged for generations leaving thousands of zara's peoples dead and countless more orphaned so when she's given to c- the command of contested city of Nor- uh, these uh, these places Narastus, zara is prepared to do whatever it takes to destroy the marginian forces who oppose her and to kill the valiant prince who leads them hmm. isn't that this kid yet a chance encounter with an anonymous and handsome marginian causes zara to question whether the violence oh. she's pre- perpetrated is justice for a crime or a crime and as she continues to meet the ma- nameless man each night, she finds common ground and fiery passion in his arms. But when identities are revealed, Zara must decide whether to embrace a chance at peace or march the drums of war. So this sounds like that they had already developed their romance during this book, too. Yep. And that so this is taking us back. Yeah. Yeah. To go forward. To My go problem forward. is that um, I heard this book was b- the best book in the series. Seriously. Mm-hmm. Really? Oh, shit. That's what a lot of people said. Then I will read it. Okay. If y'all want us to do book three, let me know. How long is... Do we know how many pages it is? 538. Okay. So we're probably not going to do book three, but um, if you want us we're to... Let me book three? <laughs> <laughs> no, Again, kidding. I mean... Let on, us know. I mean, it's if you on Audible. S- I like that it's longer I like than, that it's on Audible. I, really they're, like, they're, I don't have to use my credits for Audible. Let's do book three. Now. I'm down. And what then... Is it? The Inadequate Air? Mm-hmm. Let's and then book four is coming out. That's what I'm saying. We should just do it. Let's do it. I'm deciding right Book 4 is coming out in um, May, I think. I really do like this series a lot. My problem with this book 3 is that I'm already so confused about all the different places that now I'm going to be extra confused because I've kind of put it in the back burner of my mind and been focusing on just the character stories. So now we're going to completely different characters in different places. I might struggle with it a little bit. But that might just give a whole different, like, because I guess Laura and Arm is over. Yeah. Now it's a whole new thing. I wonder how it's all going to tie together in the end. I'm excited. Yeah. I think this will be cool. I think we do. Book I like three. this. I like this series. I think we're having a fun time with it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Any other notes to end this episode on? I thought it was really good. I think that there was just enough like romance. This is like mm-hmm. the, this is how I like. This it. is the least amount of romance that I can do. This is how I love it. This is the most amount of romance that I could. Do. I like <laughs> their. I like this their was the easy this medium. Is for this us. is like the medium yeah. between me and Kristen of like middle. I need some. This is what I'm talking yeah. about when I'm saying, like, I just need, like, okay. a little bit of romance that's in my story for it to, like, mm-hmm. help me go forward. I think yeah, these fair. are great for me, too. I like this. Yeah. Um, I also liked the um, angst angst between them. <laughs> yeah. This is YA, though, right? No, no. it's new adult. We talked oh. about this Oh, she time. also used the, she said middle finger in this book. Yeah, she said middle she finger. She said middle finger. Mm. I was so this happy. Is, that's their vulgar job. I, I was going to say, it. I was like... She, I thought this was YA when I was reading it, um, and I was like, "She's really." We thought really about. There's a lot of violence, but he also said "cock" later on. Yeah. Well, no, but I was I was sitting there being like, "She really is not immature." No, she's yeah. not. No, it's I like, know you thought that at first, but she's really not. She's not. No. Also, I just oh, God, it's written so well. I don't know. Well, no, but I think she changed. I think she yeah. she had a character development. Exactly, yeah. and so, that's the whole point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that was well it was done. really <laughs> well done. I I love the. But writing. yeah, I liked the angst between I them. She's They're like, will they, won't they, kind of thing of like, I can't be. You yeah. betrayed everything. Like, I think they made, and it made sense why he felt that. I way. think it made. I think it made Arn feel like he wasn't a little bitch about it. Like he te- he stood his ground. He wasn't th- sitting there being like, I can't be with you. I can't be with you. I can't be with you. He was like, I'm mad at myself. Yes. That too. 
true. Yeah. I'm mad at myself for like allowing this mm-hmm. to happen. There was like a there lot was more, more than just like him being there's a bitch a lot about more to him it. in this book yes. than last book. That's what I was yeah. gonna say. I was like, I actually like felt something for it. like last book. I was like, Aaron has nothing for me, and like this book, I was like, oh, I like Aaron now. Like, Especially when you I, like, like, see I how up, he gets tortured by seeing everyone yes, die for him. I'm yes, like, damn, that was rough. It was good. I, I really loved it. Yeah. I love. I love. I'm gonna look and see what else she's written. I'm pleasantly surprised by the series. I agree. Um, all right. Thank you, everybody, for listening. If you want to give us some thoughts and Stop opinions, shaking her computer, freaking camera. If you want to give us thoughts and opinions on the series or anything in general, head on over to our Instagram. That's books underscore n underscore betches b e t c h e s. I hope you watched this one on YouTube. If you didn't, go to YouTube and subscribe. Erica's drinking water out of her kid's bottle. Um, I am too. <laughs> We have a Patreon if you want to join it. We got a Patreon if you want to join it. Just click the link tree in our Instagram and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, my God. He's so cute.